Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. My name is Akriti Jain, your presenter from meetuniversity.com and today we are going to talk about our various streams in commerce and business management being offered at the postgraduate level. Now commerce is all about understanding of business or trade. It deals with the studies of market, economics, fiscal policy, industrial policies and so on. Commerce is a broad orbit of interdisciplinary branches, for example, accountancy, business administration, finance, economics, marketing, advertisement, e-commerce, and so many. The overall economic health of a nation largely depends on the advanced commerce studies. This stream offers a wide variety of career opportunities as well. Commerce opens up many career venues. Globalization, foreign insurance, and foreign banks has created enormous job opportunities for commerce students. On successful completion of bachelors of commerce or graduation at commerce students get job related to business and finance as well professionals can apply for employment in financial sector like banking company secretaryship chartered accountancy cost and works accounting job etc commerce students get job in non-finance sector in the fields like mass communication law hotel management etc Graduation in commerce degree also serves as a stepping stone for masters of business administration, masters of commerce, and so on. Commerce students can take up route of teaching after graduation and post graduation. Commerce students find career opportunities even in public services, example of civil services, Indian economic services, Indian statistical services, etc. Commerce graduate have a very exciting career option such as e-commerce. The career is well suited to the commerce student because of uh, the sound understanding of the business transaction. It mainly depends on uh, academic qualification, training, experience, location, responsibility and employer. Private sector, especially foreign companies, provide attractive packages for commerce graduates as well. Commerce is the backbone of economy of every nation in the world. A commerce degree will help you understand how businesses operate in day-to-day -day business and how they shape the economy of a nation and subsequently the entire world. A commerce degree in business, finance or accounting is highly useful as um, for any businesses or organization, be it be small, one-room shop or a large multinational company requires candidates with uh, knowledge in finance and accounting. This is one of the reasons why this field is considered to be recession-proof. During the recession time, accountants were in great demand as companies were reconstructing their budgets and need accountants to complete the task. Apart from great opportunities, India is home for excellent graduates and undergraduate program in commerce, finance, banking, and management areas. And there are plenty of multinational companies in various sectors such as software, information technology, internet, finance, banking, oil and gas, etc. that hire commerce professionals. Now, uh, the subject offered in commerce uh, during the course of your education in your graduation and, uh, and post-graduation, whether you're opting for commerce as your major and some specialization, you would have to encounter some compulsory subjects and some electives. In compulsory, we have um, eco economics. Uh, some of the reasons for studying economics are uh, economics is a social science that deals with the study of production, distribution, consumption of, uh, and of goods and services. Economics has two broad branches, microeconomics where the unit analysis is the individual agent such as household or firm or macroeconomics where the unit of analysis is the economy as a whole. Studying economics enables us to learn how about the word works as uh, it helps in gaining knowledge about the impact of the decision have on uh, firms, individuals, nations, the impact of international trade, both good and bad, the effect of uh, government policies have on the economy and on employment. Economic reasoning and theories have been increasingly applied in the recent era to not only to study economics, but also social situations where there is no monetary consideration, such as politics, law, psychology, history, religion, marriage, and family life and other social interactions. The second one comes is uh, business studies. Business studies is an important subject for commerce students. Here are some reasons why you should study those. Business studies is a subject that deals with the uh, uh, operation and organization of modern business enterprises. The subject covers each feature of the business firm, such as how a firm will be attracted in different business situations, etc. The main reasons of studying in the subject area including, uh, include business organization, their various features, structure and functioning, marketing, operation management, human resource management, etc. Studying business allows a student to observe and analyze the behavior and tactics of uh, different firms. The subject of business studies involves more than just mastering the art of doing business. 
the subject brings students abreast with the culture, corporate culture and prepares them for a professional life. Business activities are uh, something that affect the daily lives of all people in a society. It also influences creation of employment, income, opportunities for personal enterprise, standard of living of all the individuals. Studying business allows our students to understand how business activity influences the society and the economy uh, directly and indirectly. And we have uh, uh, mathematics. Uh, mathematics is a compulsory subject and it is uh, offered a very crucial point in opting for further courses. We also have accountancy. Accountancy is an integral part of uh, commerce stream. Its scope and reason for studying accountancy are elaborated. Um, accountancy is a branch of mathematical science that is concerned with the financial information about the business entity to users such as shareholders and managers. The financial communication that is studied under the subject is generally in the form of financial statement that shows in terms of money the economic resources under the control of the management studying accountancy enables the student to learn and discover various causes or uh, successes and failures of the business enterprises the principle of accountancy are applied to business enterprises in three divisions of uh, practical art name accounting bookkeeping and auditing a student studying accountancy will learn the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions, and even events, which is uh, financial in character to an extent, the interpretation of the result of these transactions and events. Students who wish to take up commerce stream would keep in mind that the subject is not an uh, easy alternative uh, as compared to science, but science and commerce are complex study areas in their own ways and cannot be compared. Hence, if a student wish to pursue a commerce stream um, only because they feel that science is not suitable stream for them, they may have to rethink about their choice. A commerce stream should be pursued by students who have an aptitude as well as evident interest in it. Then we, you also get an option of uh, choosing some elective from a multimedia and web technology. Uh, multimedia and web technology, if you already have decided on a career of web development design, um, then this subject will give you an early start in the field of web designing and development. With this subject, you learn to design web pages using HTML, XML, Vibri script, and multimedia tool to create front-end web design and database concept for back-end development. Topic covers include the introduction to computer system, web development, web scripting, multimedia and authoring tools, database concept, networking, and open source uh, software, etc. Then you have entrepreneurship. It is the ability to envision new ideas and convert them to successful businesses. The subject is perfect if you want to get into management business sectors. In your high school, you will be introduced to um, topics such as fundamentals of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial pursuits and values, introduction to market dynamics, entrepreneurial opportunities and creation, enterprise planning and resourcing, enterprise management, etc. Then you have informatics practice. Informatics practice, on the other hand, will teach you everything you need to know about software development with major attention being given on the backend database processes. Topics covered will include introduction to computers, uh, programming, related database management system, IT applications such as e-learning and e-business, SQL queries and problem solving using Java. Practicals will cover exercises such as writing queries using SQL, developing and maintaining databases, and an IT application project where you will be expected to develop both the front-end, UI, and back-end database as well. Then, last but not the least, you have computer science as well. In your high school, you will be introduced to both the theoretical as well as practical aspect of computer science. The theoretical concepts include fundamentals of computers, programming methodology, data structures, Boolean algebra, and communication technologies. The practical aspect will involve a lot of programming through either C++ or Python or database using SQL. Overall, by the end of two years, you will be well versed with the basic and fundamentals of computer science as well as learning how to write good code through both linear and object-oriented programming. The career opportunities available for commerce graduate uh, varies and you have uh, a very huge and exciting list of the career opportunities we can look for from accounting or accounts executive to chartered accountant, company secretariat or cost accountant to finance analyst, financial planner, finance manager, finance controller, finance consultant, investment analyst, stockbroker, to portfolio manager. Then you have uh, you can be tax, uh, tax auditor, tax consultant, you can be statistician or economist, or you can be entrepreneurial, or you can 
you could be in accounts finance or banking you could be in marketing sales and retail you could be in logistics you can be in even management or public relation you could be in market research you could be in travel and tourism you could be in hotel and hospitality you could be in computer information technology you could be in insurance and natural sciences you could be in law and legal services um where uh, you could be in commercial law or corporate law civil law or labor law etc you can also be in uh, human resource or personal management uh, you could be in import and export you could be in production you could be in stock securities mutual funds commodities and share trading etc moving ahead with business management uh, university courses in the field of business and management are among the most popular worldwide at both undergraduate and graduate level of study business and management degrees uh, range from a uh, broad and comprehensive to highly skilled program spanning subjects include accounting finance business administration economic marketing and management each of which uh, provides further opportunities for specializations as well there are uh, certainly no shortage of choice when it comes to business topics options include accountancy business ethics business models controlling corporate reputation management commerce corporate managerial psychology psychology public relation real estate uh, research method shipping social methods and world economy managerial psychology social responsibility economics emerging economics finance healthcare law leadership and management etc when you factor in the immense range of uh, specialized business degrees from e business management to inter integrate biosciences with business it follows that there must be a even greater range of specialization within these already specialized program um i am presenting you a short round of uh, the business topic traditionally covered in uh, your uh, higher education in business degree along with some topic that may be uh, covered in a more specialized program from accounting accounting involves uh, the measurement processing and communication of financial information in regard to economic agent there is importance of uh, important aspect of business as it helps uh, track what business has done is doing in hopes to achieve uh, uh, their target in future specializing in this field mean learning how to keep track of numbers as well as being able to manage database of customers vendors employees clients generate reports and to store and organize all business data in relation to finance and budgeting then we have finance closely related to accounting finance involve all sources of funding a business has access to businesses need financial support in order to start up run expand and uh, an understanding of finance in business is essential for ensuring success you will learn about different sources of finance and how create various uh, type of financial records such as trading accounts cash flow statement business and um, profit and loss accounts and balance sheets etc you will also study more advanced topic as to how strategically respond to different kind of market environments how to use financial information to solve problems and how to analyze and interpret financial information to qualify business processes and transaction in order to achieve what business aims then we have information system the strategic use of information system can be a major asset of any organization or business information system involve the entire network of hardware and software that people and organization use to collect filter process and create the and distribute the data you learn how the information system support the business and its operation how to gain a competitive advantage through that strategic and tactical organization management and use of information how to set up a strong information system to support and analyze the business information and how to manage uh, enterprises by using technical and technology effective in every aspect of business processes we also have international business or other famous and prominent branch of business management and international business focus during your degree can be useful for gaining a global perspective of business you will cover all aspect of international business including looking at the impact of international business on local regional and global economics the impact of global forces can have a particular business and topics such as host and home economies regionalization versus globalization free trade corporate governance and sovereign state you will cover topics such as critical evaluation of international cooperation organization strategy international regulation and rules international management and development international financial system and how to analyze a global market in operation research which is also known as uh, operations research it involves using advanced analytical method to help make uh, uh, businesses better and help make the better managerial decision you will gain a solid um, quantitative foundation 
you learn about statistical and analytical methodology and skills and practical problem solving techniques and get a good understanding on the decision making process that impact the businesses you learn how to use confidently tackle problems and explore scientific approaches that can lead to improvement you'll also learn about the general management of businesses including project management and supply chain management logistics and procurement in organizational leadership uh, the study of organizational leadership focusing on um, helping you develop the knowledge perspective and skill that you will need to effectively lead to people and organization in cultural well, um, culturally diverse team you learn about traditional and innovative approaches to management develop analytical man, uh, managerial and interpersonal skills and cover topics such as emotional and social intelligence corporate ethics strategic thinking and communication corporate social responsibility approaches to leadership and how to understand interpret and use the data to improve performance and employee satisfaction moving on to entrepreneurship entrepreneurship involves identifying uh, and starting a new business venture including how to source and organize the required resources and how to identify the risk and rewards associated with the venture you will develop your uh, entrepreneurial uh, skills such as how to identify opportunities how to capitalize on prevailing market trends how to manage cross cultural business environments and gain in depth knowledge on issues such as international entrepreneurship intellectual property protection innovation and fundamental marketing um, principles behind entrepreneurship and develop an arsenal of best business practices then you also have marketing communicating the value of the product or services to customer in order to sell that product or service you will develop the practical and analytical skills needed to solve business problems in marketing context develop a thorough knowledge of key marketing topics then we also have statistics uh, business statistics is similar to operational statistics and is defined as the science of good decision making in the face of uncertainty you will use statistical methodology technical and skills to analyze uh, analyze engage with uh, and draw conclusion on large amount of data you will develop the necessary skills to interpret and use statistical techniques in a variety of um, business applications that, uh, such as statistical study descriptive statistics probability and the uh, binomial and normal distribution test the hypothesis and confidence intervals linear regression and correlation you also have supply chain management abbreviation to scm this is the management of the flow of goods within the large business or organization you will cover how to track the movement and um, storage of raw materials and work in progress inventory how to deal with finished goods from point of origin to the consumption and um, how to effectively use interconnected networks channels and node business in order to deliver products and services to the end consumer in the supply chain then uh, we have e-commerce electric uh, electronic commerce involves the buying and selling of products over uh, electric systems such as internet and other computing networks you'll draw on technology such as uh, mobile commerce electronic fund transfer scm internet marketing and various other topic you'll come across during a business degree e-commerce is uh, uh, the sales aspect of business and also involve the exchange of data in order to facilitate the finance and payment of business transaction effectively communicate between businesses and consumers and gather uh, and gather demographic demographic data moving on to the type of business degrees so each of the specialization will lead you into uh, some of the business degrees what you can opt for and which will further help you in uh, attaining the perfect career you're looking for um university courses in the field of business and management are among the most popular worldwide at both undergraduate and the postgraduate level at the graduate level the mba or the masters aimed at those who have already gained significant professional experience in a business management role it remains a very popular one and other continue to promise high returns in terms of career progression however many other masters degree in business and management are also uh, growing in popularity typically requiring a lower end uh, uh end up front investment and little to no professional experience as well as chance to gain more uh, specialized qualification for example leading uh, for accounting it will lead you to uh, the degrees in accounting financial analysis economics and business law and um, your um, potential job titles could be uh, accountant financial analyst or payroll manager and the median uh, starting salary would be 45300 in advertising that could lead you um, 
to market research, consumer behavior, color theory, and brand management. Your potential job titles could be marketing manager, copywriter, or media planner, in which the median salary is approximately forty thousand dollars. Business administration, your um, can that can lead you to accounting, economic, human resource, and management. And your potential job titles could be human resource manager, business analyst, or operation analyst, in which the median salary is approximately forty-three thousand five hundred dollars. Your uh, uh, business technology, um, in which uh, which can lead you into uh, the specializations like process management, operation management, IT management, and project management. Which can lead you to the job titles like business analyst, process analyst, or business consultant, in which the median salary is approximately forty-nine thousand nine hundred. Communication. Uh, communication can uh, you can opt for uh, the specializations as mass communication, public relation, mass media, and interpersonal communication, etc. And the potential job job titles would be public relation manager, communication specialist, or copywriter, in which the median salary is approximately forty thousand dollar. You can also opt for economics, in which um, the common course subjects are macroeconomic, microeconomics, accounting, and business statistics. And the potential job title is financial analyst. Contract specialist or economist, in which the median uh, salary is approximately fifty thousand one hundred. Then you have entrepreneurship. Uh, the common uh, core subjects are accounting, marketing, performance management, and business strategy, um, which can lead you to job titles like business owner, business manager, or management analyst, in which the median salary is approximately forty three thousand five hundred. Moving on to finance, in which you can opt for the common courses as financial modeling, portfolio management, taxation, and business law, which can um, positively lead you to potential job titles as risk manager, portfolio analyst, and um, financial analyst, in which the median salary is forty-nine thousand two hundred. Healthcare management, in which you can um, the common courses are financial management, policy management, healthcare operation, and healthcare law, which can lead you to job titles like health service manager. Uh, patient care associate or medical director, in which the median salary is thirty-nine thousand three hundred. Then you can also opt for hospitality management, even the common um, degrees are tourism, business administration, human resource, and management, and which can lead you to job titles like guest service manager, hotel manager, or general manager, in which the median salary is forty thousand six hundred. Then we have um, human resource, in which uh, you can offer degrees in management, leadership, organizational behavior, and employment law, which can lead you to job titles like human resource journalist, recruiter, or benefits specialist, in which there is a medium salary of thirty-eight thousand eight hundred. You can also offer international business, um, in which you can offer degrees in international management, global commerce, business ethics, and communication, which can lead you to job titles like management analyst, supply chain manager, or business development specialist, in which the median salary is approximately forty-three thousand eight hundred. Then you have marketing, uh, in which the common uh, courses what you can offer for our consumer behavior, marketing management, international marketing and communication, which can lead you to job titles like marketing manager, marketing coordinator, and marketing specialist, in which the median salary is forty-two thousand one hundred. Then we have a wide field of project management, in which the common uh, degrees or the specializations known are organizational management, leadership, communication, and project management, uh, which will potentially give you the job titles like project manager, business analyst, and project coordinator, in which the median salary is fifty-one thousand nine hundred. Then you have a public relation manager, uh, in which you can opt for communication, advertising, public speaking, and writing, which will give you potential job titles of public relation manager, even coordinator, and communication specialist, in which the median salary is forty-seven thousand four hundred. Last but not the least, you have statistics, in which you can opt for, um, uh, you can, which can lead you to algebra, calculus, probability, and statistics, and the potential job titles would be statistician, data analyst, and business analyst. In which the median starting salary would be near to fifty-two thousand five hundred. With this, uh, I will end the presentation today, and I hope the information provided in wide fields of uh, commerce and business management would be useful to you in order to um, opt for the perfect course accord and the specialization according to your interest. And uh, I'm sure that you'll gain the exact um, uh, skill and knowledge acquired to be the best professional in your field. Thank you very much for listening to me today. Have a nice time. Bye bye.